everyone, my name is Brittany Nicole, and this is my very first vlog. So to start it off, I wanted to talk about goals. Setting goals and how to stick with those goals. Most of us set New Year's resolutions. One thing I've noticed when going to the gym now is all the lockers that were crammed packed at the beginning of the year and all the machines that were completely full, it's slowly starting to diminish. As usual, just like it does every year. Why is that? Unfortunately, that's because only 12% of us actually achieve the goals that we set for ourselves. So how do we set realistic goals? Say that you want to lose 50 pounds. You need to break that down into smaller pieces. Divide 50 pounds by 12 months. Then break it down into weeks. That gives you something to look forward to and it's short term. And it can be really rewarding to see the short-term results. One thing is don't get frustrated if you don't achieve your goal for the week. Everybody has setbacks. You may not reach your dream goal the first time, but that's okay. Every little step you make towards it is progress. And it's a place that you wouldn't be if you just gave up. You're being way too hard on yourself and you're not even making any progress. To me, something is better than nothing. Think about it. Step two, write down your goal. Put it where you can see it. Whenever you write down your goal, you're 35% more likely to achieve that goal versus than just saying it verbally. I personally write down all of my goals in multiple places. I have goals on sticky notes and they are on my work monitor all the time. I see them every morning when I come in, throughout the day, and before I leave. I see my goals 24-7. I also have them wrote down in a notebook. And I have them broken down into smaller goals. Achievable goals throughout the month, week, and sometimes down to the day. I also make little check boxes because for me it's really satisfying once I finish something to check it off. There's just something about it that I really like. Step three, share your goals. Hand them off to a friend, a family member, a coworker, somebody that you trust to hold you accountable. Be very selective with who you wanna share your goals with. Find somebody that is going to be a good listener, that's gonna be a good coach, that's really gonna hold you accountable, but also be sensitive enough to understand that this isn't going to be easy. Ask this person that you shared your goal with to Keep tabs on you, ask you how it's going, how your progress is, what you've achieved, any conflicts that you're having, if you're finding it difficult, be honest with them. Share what's going on because maybe they can help you give you the motivation, encouragement you need to continue to pursue that goal. If you share your goals, you are 75% more likely to achieve your goals versus writing it down or just saying it verbally. And finally, any progress is one step closer to achieving your ultimate goal. Just as you shouldn't be too hard on yourself for not meeting a goal milestone, don't be too easy on yourself either. Find that nice balance. One last thing before we go. I would love to hear your feedback. Things that you liked about the video, things that you may have disliked about the video. Maybe you have a discussion topic that you would like to hear me talk about in my upcoming video. Any feedback you give me is helping me reach my goal, which is to be a more effective communicator because my ultimate goal is to help you grow personally and professionally. And in return, I grow personally and professionally. Feel free to contact me at brittany nicole at thecatalystforchange.com or check out my website thecatalystforchange.com.